What's going on guys and welcome back to another Project Cars Overtaking Challenge. Today I'm driving GT3 cars at Watkins Glen GP. I'm driving the BMW M3 GT. I'm up against a bunch of other GT3 cars. And um, yeah, we're going to see how we do. Now, the BMW, I will be honest, isn't... It doesn't seem to go up against... Oh, hello. It doesn't seem to go up against these guys as well as you may think. Um, it... It seems to lack speed compared to a lot of the other cars, especially like the McLaren, the uh, the Mercedes, you know, Aston Martin, all those really fast cars. It does seem to lack speed a little bit. Um, however, it isn't a bad car. Handling is okay. I mean, it's not really much better than the rest of the cars, but it isn't bad. Um, however, I have got what is going on here. I've got a very good start actually to this race. Um, I've got the difficulty on 70, I would usually race GT3 cars on 80 or 90, but with this being an overtaking challenge, I always put the difficulty down lower because um, it's kind of, this guy's not going to give me room, <laughs> it's, um, you know, when coming from the very back of the field, you can't, if you have it on like 90 or 100, um, or even 80 really, the, uh, the leaders are just going to get away, you're going to have absolutely no chance of winning. I personally don't think I'm going to have a chance of winning this. Um, Oh, what's happened in front? Is that, is that BM, another BMW there? Another M3, I think. Just went shooting to the left of the track. The uh, the Mercedes in the rough. The rough is doing some rally cross. Look at the rough. He's having he's having a rally cross moment. Rally crossing rough. That's something I didn't think I'd be seeing today. Um, but yeah, um, we're doing seven laps. Um, and I think, what do I? How do I think I can do? Well, if I do really well without too many, or really any, without any big issues, um, I think I can probably get top 10. Um, I'm definitely not, I'm pretty sure, pretty damn sure I'm not going to be able to get a win here. Um, the field stays pretty, um, pretty close for the first few laps. However, um, as you can see, the front, oh god, there's front like uh, 15 maybe there. Are just about getting away. I'm gonna try and take this BMW. Managing to get into the corner. There we go. Um, yeah, the first, the first couple of laps it stays relatively close together, but um, the leaders do start slightly just getting away towards the end. Um, we're even starting to make a little bit of a break now, but it will stay fairly close together. Now I did a little practice with this earlier, just to you know see how the BMW was, because I haven't really driven this car before. Whenever I've done GT3, I've always either driven the McLaren, um, the, uh, the Mercedes, no, not the Mercedes, the, have I driven the Mercedes? No, I haven't driven the Mercedes. Either the McLaren, the Audi, that's probably it, to be honest. Oh, the Aston. I've driven the Aston as well. They're really the only three cars I've driven. I did want to try this with the Rav. I gave the Rav a little bit of a practice drive, and it's not very good, I will be honest. Um, it's probably about as fast as the BMW. The BMW is one of the slower cars, and it um, it's really twitchy. You can't really go in a straight line very well, like like I'm doing now with these small movements. With the um, with the rough, it just I'm not gonna go. For it. Okay, you're gonna make me go for it. He's gonna give me room though. Thank you, BMW friend. I approve of your room rooming. However, he's gonna try and go for a dive, but I'm gonna try and defend it. Um. Yeah, when you're like doing this, like little movements like this, it'll be a lot more twitchy with the rough, which I didn't really like. I did want to use the rough just as something a little bit different, but I mean, the BMW is different, I suppose, different to what I usually drive with the GT3s. But um, yeah, the rough was a little bit weird. I just didn't really. I mean, for some people it might be okay. It is very responsive. It corners very well. Um, however, it is just a little bit too twitchy for me down the straights mainly. So that is why I went for the BMW. Now there's two different BMWs in the race. There is the M3, which I'm driving now. There's also the Z4. I haven't personally driven the, the Z4. I don't know if it's any better. Um, I believe it has a little bit more power than this, and about that 3 horsepower. But it has less top speed. It gets from 0 to 60, I think, a little bit slower. But it brakes a little bit better, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I was checking the stats earlier. And I Either that or the other way around, I can't remember. We've gone very wide. We've gone very wide. Get back on the track. We tried to go for around the outside with the um with the Mercedes there. Didn't really work. Didn't 
really work. Um, okay, let's let's try and what are we in? Let's see what I'm in before I go into the wall. 19th. Not bad. We're on that three of seven. Um, hopefully this is going to go on for about 11 or 12 minutes. The actual race itself. That's what I'm hoping. This this is most likely going to be my longest video so far. But um, my rendering has been a bit better lately. Usually it takes me like two and a half hours to do to render like a five minute video. It's now taking me like maybe an hour, an hour and a half. If I'm lucky, a five minute video will only take me about an hour to render. Um, so this one may be a while, I will be honest, it will probably be a while. But um you know I don't I don't mind. Longer videos are always better I reckon. Doing something like this there anyway. And you can't really have a short video of this because if you don't do many laps, you have no chance of doing very well. Now, I've been stuck behind this bloody Mercedes for quite some time now, and I would like to get past him. We had a bit of a shabby, shabby lap there. He is trying to go around into the inside on the Audi, so I'm going to... Oh, he's giving me a bump. I may have slightly turned on him, but he also did give me a bump. The one thing I don't like about Project Cars, the AI do not give you room at all whatsoever. I do not like it. Um... I don't know where we're going to want to get these guys. I don't really want to get them into this corner. Because the problem is they're so close to each other that I kind of have to get both of them at once. I'll try and get right up to the back of them through here. Um, I can probably get a pretty... I can, oh, can I go... Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, I want to try to stay on the inside here. Can I? No, he's going to try and cut back on me. Watch where you're going, Audi. I'm going to... Okay, the Mercedes isn't there. He's close enough. I'm going to try and go for a dive on the Audi. I've just about got it stopped. Have I got past him? Yes, I have. I've got past the pair of them. Oh, that was a bit of a, bit of a risky, risky thing there. I think we should be able to, if we don't make any stupid mistakes, get away from them now. Up into 17th. Um, if I get at least 15, a top 15th, I'll be happy. I will be happy if I get a top 15th. I think if I go well, I may. I mean, how many cars have we gone from? We got. Uh, we got 16th, 15th, 14th. We got up to 13th place. If I get past all them, I'll be in 13th. Then, after that, it, there is quite a big gap between that and the uh, and the next cars um, going into the top 10. Top 10 isn't, I don't think, going to be possible really here. We are catching up to these guys relatively easy because they are all like there's there's four of them there. They're all battling each other fairly hard, um, so, and that was quite a quick lap actually, that was a pretty decent lap, the, oh, the Audi has just caught me out a little bit there, sorry Audi, I give you a tiny, tiny little nudge, I apologise, I do apologise, apologise, I apologise Audi, that's apparently what I'm doing, oh, I've gone a little bit wide through there, I don't like that corner, I don't know, I'm not particularly good at that corner, this Audi's really looking around. Uh, to see where he can get past the BMW. It looks like he's wanting to go in for a dive here. Nope. He's backed off that idea. I don't blame you. Um, oh, we're far, we're a lot faster than the uh, than the AI through there. All right, I can probably do what I did to the other Audi. He's going to try and cut back on me, but I think uh, no, nah, I'm going to give him going to give him that. I'm going to dive into this corner, so I'm going to do the exact same maneuver again, a bit closer that time, but we have just about managed to get past him. Um, he has got a very good run. I'm going to try and go a little bit defensive into this corner. Make sure he doesn't try and get me. There, oh yeah, he's, he's gone back a little bit now. Cool. Up into 16th. Oh, I lost a bit of time there from battling him, but not too much that it's really affected us too badly. Um, okay. Can we get in front of these guys? What lap are we on? We're on lap 5. Can we get in front of these guys before the end of the race? The, uh, is that the BMW? Gone a bit wide there, so I've managed to catch up a little bit, but he has got a decent run out of the corner. Um, we're fairly fast through here, but once again... Oh, maybe I'll do... Oh, maybe I'll just... Oh, no. Oh, side by side. I think I may have just about got past him. I'm going really, really wide for some reason. I don't know why. I nearly went into the bloody pit lane then. That would not have been good. It would have slowed me down quite a lot. Um, okay, I'm fast coming into here, but then the Aston's got a little bit more speed than me, so he's going to be able to get away from me going up here. Oh, I've slightly cut across the grass there. I apologise, I didn't get a warning, so 
it is fine, it is okay. What is our best lap so far? 147.8. Not a bad lap time. That was that was a very quick lap. That one. That was a very very quick lap. Now we're going to be fast through here again. I'm going to catch him. At the oh, for God's sake, they're so slow coming out. Well, going through and going into that like it's not really a chicane. Is it? I don't even know what it is. I guess it is a chicane actually. It's just a bit of a a different chicane. I really do like this, uh, this track. This is a really nice circuit, especially that um, that chicane. I believe that's a chicane, isn't it? Yeah, it's a chicane. Sure, we'll go with it. I really do like it. It's really oh, we're very fast through here. Wow, the uh, caught the Aston out out guard there. Um, we actually may be able to get him into this corner if we just try and break a little bit later than him. Right there. Can we do it? Yes, we can. He's going to think about going for the cutback, but he's not going to have the opportunity, so that is fine. We're up into 14th. 14th place. Okay, I'll take that. We're a bit dodgy around that corner. We've got one more lap after this one. It's going to be about a 13 minute race, this. Which isn't too bad. It's going to be a long video compared to usual, but you know what? I don't mind. This is a very fun race. I am liking this race. Now... Can we get 13th? There's this, there's this one guy in front of us that's um, it's kind of on his own. He may be a little bit too far ahead. What is it? It's a Z4, I think. Or is it a Mercedes? I think it's a Z4. I can't exactly tell there. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a Z4, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I will... I don't know if I'm... I don't think I'm going to be able to catch him. I think he's just a little bit too far ahead. What is he? He's one point... 1.2 seconds ahead. I think that may be a little bit too far ahead. I'm going to try and go pretty fast through here. We're on. Oh, we're on for a very quick lap at the moment. Wow. Because with that uh, with that breather that we're having here, we are getting. We're going to probably get a pretty decent lap time so far. It was a little bit slow around there, but I don't think that bother too much. We, we were almost half a second faster through that first section, just with uh, with not having any cars around. It shows shows how much it. You know how much not having cars there helps your lap times. It really does. We are actually very. I think it's actually. Is this a Mercedes? I think it's a Mercedes, isn't it? They look like they look a bit similar. The Mercedes and the BMW Z4 from the back. Wow, we are on for a very quick lap time this time. Jesus, we're going very, very fast. Um, I mean, he's right here now. I may be able to take him if I get the opportunity. It's going to be very close though, it is going to be very close, it's going to come down to... I don't really have the run to get him here, it's going to come down to the last corner. This isn't a very big breaking zone, so... I'm going to get a good run, so I'm, I'm going to go for it, to this corner. Can we get him? No, nope, we've just given him a massive whack. We are going to get him though, slightly cheatily. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do that. I am sorry, Mercedes. I am sorry, but we have got, we've got 13th place, so... You know, that's fine. That was a bit cheaty. I will be honest. That was a little bit cheaty. All right, so we got. What did we get? Thirteenth place. Thirteenth place. Not bad. Where's the next highest BMW? We got one in six. Is that it? Yep. Sixth place is the next highest BMW M3. We got Mercedes's. 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 First and second. We got Roth. Third, fourth. We got Janetta fifth. M3 sixth. Janetta seventh. Aston eighth. Um, Ruff 9th, Aston 10th, Ruff 11th, Mercedes 12th, and then me in 13th, and then it was just a, it was a Mercedes and an Aston behind me. I think 13th place is pretty good coming from 30th. I think I think we did pretty well with possibly the underdog car. I will be honest, it probably is the underdog car, along with maybe the Z4. Um, who, there's, there was only one of them. There was one Z4 in this whole race. Wow, I think there's only one McLaren as well. I'm surprised he came that far back. Okay then. Yeah, there's only one McLaren and one Z4. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. It really means a lot. Tell me what other videos you want to see in Project Cars or in any other games that you would like. I'll see you guys in the next video.